Hi, and welcome to COMP 20090. This is the Introduction to Cognitive Science. It's a module taught as an elective to undergraduates around UCD. Uh, I'm your host, Fred Cummins. I'm going to be the module coordinator, the lecturer, and I'm the person to turn to when you have any questions about the module. This first video is just to tell you how the module works. We've got 12 teaching weeks. I've organized the course content around 10 topics, so some are larger than others. All the materials that you'll need for this course are available through Brightspace. So all the videos will be available through Brightspace, and any reading materials that you'll need are also available through Brightspace. So there's no textbook you need to buy. I'll make all the readings freely available. I'm housed in the Computer Science Building, but that's more of an accident than anything else. I could be in almost any building in UCD because Cognitive Science draws on very, very many disciplines. It is not well housed within any single discipline. Uh, my email is there on the screen if you ever need to contact me. So the way this class works is we're going to make use of pre-recorded lecture videos, a bit like this. Uh, which you'll be asked to watch before the class. And then in class, we'll provide some additional material and we'll discuss the whole content that you have watched to make it a lot more richer, um, a lot more meaningful. So doing the videos is preparation for class. Class is not optional, though. Coming to class is really, really important. And the, it's to everyone's advantage if you are lively and ask questions in class. I'm more than happy to discuss all this material. On Brightspace, you'll importantly find the syllabus for this course. That tells you exactly which videos to watch and what materials to read for every topic that we cover. So each week there's some required reading, sometimes additional small videos to watch from external sources. The required reading doesn't have to be done before class. Class preparation involves watching the videos. The required reading is required in order to understand the topics, of course. And I've also provided a host of additional and entirely optional material on Brightspace because you may find that you want to dig deeper into one or other topic that we cover. So, the syllabus is your friend. Print it out and refer to it each week. Because this module is taught to a wide variety of students across campus, we try to make it fit in with everyone's timetable so that there's two one-hour lectures each week, but each lecture is actually repeated. So on Tuesdays, there's a class at 10 o'clock, and that same class is given again at 11 o'clock. On Thursdays, there's a class at 10 o'clock, and the same class is given at 12. So you go to one of the Tuesday classes and one of the Thursday classes. And I don't mind whether you go to the 10 o'clock or, or the 11 o'clock on Tuesdays, or the 10 o'clock or the 12 o'clock on Thursdays. The actual classrooms will be posted on Brightspace. Now, on Brightspace, you'll find the syllabus, the all-important syllabus. Please do look at it. You'll find all the lecture videos. Those are to be watched before class. You'll find all the required readings. You'll find additional material, which is entirely optional. And that's also where you'll do your assignment submission. So we better talk about the assignments. I'm not a big fan of exams. I feel, particularly with material this complex, and cognitive science is complex, it's challenging. I find it better to allow you the space to think about the material and to show me your thinking. So to that end, we have two essays. Around the time of the reading break, we have a short 1500 word essay based on topics from the first part of the course. And what you're asked to do is to write about your thoughts on the topics we have covered. The final essay is similar it's a 3,000 words, so a slightly longer reflective essay in which you'll be asked to combine your thoughts and experiences with material for the, from the course. Now, I'll talk more about those, obviously, as the time draws nearer. So to get the most out of this module, prepare for class, watch the videos and do the reading, come to class and partake in discussion. And I encourage you always to think beyond the material that I'm presenting to you here. We will be talking about various ways in which the human person is understood, is constructed, is um, figured out. And you'll be learning, in part, how ignorant we are. 
And so your personal experience and your judgment are going to be valuable and relevant, and you'll need your critical hat on. It's going to be a, a wild ride.